Hi, it's Tim from OracleBase.com. In this video, we'll discuss scalable sequences. These have been present since Oracle 12.1, but their usage was documented for the first time in Oracle 18c. When we populate a primary key using a sequence, each new primary key value is incremented by 1, so each new entry is placed in the rightmost leaf block of the primary key index, making it a hot block. This can cause issues in a single instance database, but in a rack database it can lead to cluster weights for the hot block. Since Oracle 8, we've been able to use reverse key indexes to help, but scalable sequences may be a better solution. A scalable sequence is made up of a prefix and a zero padded sequence. The prefix is made up of a three digit instance offset and a three digit session offset. Since the prefix is based on the instance and session, it reduces the chances of multiple sessions fighting over a single leaf block. We start by creating a default sequence. It has a minimum value of 1 and a maximum value of 10 nines. We've explicitly included the no scale keyword, but this is the default so we didn't need to. When we select the next value from the sequence for the first time, we get the value 1. It then increments by 1 each time. We drop the sequence before trying the next example. This time we create the sequence using the scale keyword. This is the equivalent of saying scale no extend. Now the first value of the sequence looks different. It has a prefix made up of the instance offset and session offset and the sequence value, which is zero padded to the maximum size. Fetching the next value shows the zero padded sequence has incremented by one. Notice we've reduced the maximum value of the sequence from 10 nines to four nines because we've reserved the six digit space for the prefix. We drop the sequence before trying the next example. This time we create the sequence using scale extend. Now the first value of the sequence has more digits. We still have the six digit prefix, but the zero padded sequence uses the full 10 digits. This gives us the maximum sequence value of 10 nines again, with the total number of digits being 16. Remember the prefix is made up of an instance and session offset. We're using a single instance database here, so the instance offset remains consistent, but the session offset changes with each new session. We make a new connection to the database. The instance offset remains as 101. The session offset changes to 395. We make a new connection to the database. The instance offset remains as 101, but the session offset changes to 274. In the previous examples, we dropped the sequence and rebuilt it to change the scale and extend attributes. We could have altered them using the alter sequence command. Here we change the sequence back to the default no scale, to scale no extend, then to scale extend. Remember to check your tables and code can cope with the size changes when doing this. The DBA, all and user sequences views have columns for the scale and extend flags. This allows us to check these attributes for each sequence. We've already mentioned them, but it's worth repeating the implications of using scalable sequences. All sequence numbers are full size in terms of the number of digits used. If your application displays sequence numbers, you may have some formatting issues you weren't expecting for a few years. When using scale no extend, you're effectively reducing the maximum sequence number available as six digits are lost because of the prefix. When using scale extend, the database and application need to cope with the extra six digits. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.